Hello, Amy. How are you? How are you today? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, oh. Mossy. Mossy. Hello, my friends. I wanted to give you a quick update on my urban garden. And everything is looking great. And look at this here. I've recently planted some cabbage and this is some kale. I didn't sow it or anything. It seeded it out itself from last year, I believe. And here I have planted two more kale and lettuce plants because some of my onions have died over winter time. And the garlic is doing so much better actually. So here I only lost like two or three plants. And this is the inside of my greenhouse now. So as you can see here, at the left side I have some radishes and some of them were already ready for the harvest but most of them still need two more weeks or so. Then here I have my tomato plants and actually I lost some uh, because it was getting very cold and tomatoes don't handle the cold so well. So a couple of them I have lost but I still have many many tomatoes. Look at this. And this year I have transplanted them really early, in an early stage, and it didn't seem to harm the plant at all. And yeah, uh, some of the plants have signs of frostbite here. So if it's getting white, then you know that it has gotten too cold. Then here I've transplanted some lettuce. Um, this was where the kale was standing. Originally I thought it was radishes, but then I realized that it's kale, like this one here. This is also kale. And these are onions here. And they are exactly the same age as the ones that I've planted outside here. And the ones inside of the greenhouse are doing so much better because of course it was less cold during winter time when they have overwintered. Then here at the back side I have planted a couple of peas, sugar peas to be exact, and they are doing really well. Then here we have some more lettuce. This is some very young lettuce that has sprouted. Here I have more kale plants in a bucket. And this is leek and it's really really slow in growth. So it takes ages until you get leek plants, adult ones. All right, then here I have my nursery and here I have some young lettuce plants. They're really nice. Here I even have younger lettuce plants and they are called stir fry. Then at the back side here I have four red bell peppers and only four have germinated and two of the seeds have died. Then here we have kohlrabi. Some of the kohlrabi seeds have already germinated. This is how very young kohlrabi is looking like. Then here is some celery sprouting. And here I have sown more leek. But I cannot see the plants yet, so it's going to take some more time. Then here, Amy. Amy, what is this? Huh? What is this? Okay, then here um, I've sown some sugar peas. Here you can see the peas still and they have just germinated. Then here I've sown some parsley, but it hasn't germinated yet. Parsley always takes a couple of days, two weeks until it's germinating. Here at the back we have first seedlings of the Dagitis flower, which is really beautiful. And this here is cat grass. As you can see, it already has sprouted and I'm growing it for my dog because sometimes my dog wants to eat the grass. And here at the back, we can see mangold. Okay, so these are going to be mangold plants. Okay, so now, I don't know if you can see it, but in this raised bed, I have a couple of gaps. And now I want to take the lettuce and plant it here at the back where there's no onion anymore or here or maybe maybe right here. So yeah, I want to use all of the spots, all of the vacant spots in this raised bed.
Okay, today I want to improvise a container with these long toilet paper rolls. Okay, so this is the uh, paper roll tower that I've built and it happened to be that the packs here fit perfectly into the tower and this is looking awesome. So now I'm really excited about how the lettuce is going to grow inside of the paper rolls. Okay, next I want to sow some carrots. Let's see what we have here carrots and other stuff. Okay, so now for the carrots, I definitely want orange carrots. This variety is called Nantes 2. And I still have this package here, which is the older one, so I'm going to use this first. Then I want to sow some yellow carrots and some purple carrots. And also I want to sow this here. This is parsley, but it's root parsley. And it's really good in the soup. Okay, so now I'm going to have three different kinds of carrot and one root parsley. All right, so next on I have the small container here and I want to use it for normal parsley. And we need a lot of this in the kitchen, but it's growing really slowly and that's why I have to sow so much of this. And yeah, the small container is just perfect for uh, parsley. Okay, next on I want to transplant my four bell pepper plants. And I always make sure that I don't break off the roots. And some gardening books say otherwise, but it makes no sense to me to break off some roots. I think it will cause a shock to the plant even more, so I leave the roots whole as whole as possible. I think that's the better way to do it. And yeah, but that's just my own opinion. Okay, so now we have my four pepper plants transplanted. And that's nice. I have moved all of my tomatoes to the back side here. And these are the empty containers where tomatoes have frozen off because of the cold. So now I want to use some of these smaller containers with the tomatoes and replant them into the bigger containers so that they have more place for their roots and also i have discovered that i have a couple of spiders in my greenhouse and that is a good thing i really want to have a lot of spiders because they are killing uh, pests okay now let's replant some of the tomatoes here i want to make a hole at the bottom so that the roots can grow out of it without any resistance. Now I plant this inside and I try to fill the sides as well. And now I'm going to select more and I'm only going to take the strong ones. So for example this one here is somehow crippled and a slug or snail has eaten the leaves. So I don't want to grow this plant anymore because it's half destroyed 
And because I have so many tomato plants, it's okay. Okay, I'm done with the repotting. Amy, us. No. No. No, Amy. No. So. I have all of my tomatoes here now. And it's really hot inside of the greenhouse. Let's check out the temperature. 34 degrees. Wow, that's really hot. So during the day it's really hot and during the night we only get like 4 degrees Celsius. That sucks. Um, the hottest temperature that we got in the last days was 42. That's a lot. So I have to start letting the door open during daytime now. Because when it's getting too hot it's also not good for the plants. Okay, so next I want to plant the peas here. Okay, as always, I just stuck in a couple of sticks so that the piece have a framework where they can clamp onto. Amy! Amy, what did you steal? Hello! <laughs> okay, so that's that. And here are the piece that I have sewn about three weeks earlier. And they are looking really good. Okay, next on. I want to transplant flowers and these are called takitis. They have this really nice uh, orange or yellow flower and they are nematode killers. Okay, so next on I want to dig out this strawberry plant because I don't know what's wrong with it but it's not growing very well and I have one strawberry plant here which is really healthy so I'm going to take that and plant this one here instead. So this is my direct composting system and here all of my kitchen scraps go into and I've cut some holes into the sides of this container and this way this can compost underneath the soil and the compost can then be taken up by the plants that I will plant beside the container. Yeah, my bee hotel is doing great by the way. So I have many bees who already have closed some holes and laid their eggs into them. That's pretty awesome. And the most important thing was that I had to build a roof because uh, without the roof the wood would get really wet and then no bees would come anymore. So bees will only go into wood which is really dry and that's why you want to build a roof for your bee hotel. Okay, now I have an empty spot here and at the back side here I've sown some basil and now that the strawberry is gone I want to sow some basil here as well. Okay, I had to remove one of the windows because inside it was getting really hot, almost 40 degrees Celsius, that's too hot and that's why I need more ventilation. And yeah, now I want to transplant the kohlrabi, this is the violet version and I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants. I'm 
going to plant this lettuce, which is called stir fry. Okay, next on, I want to sew this lettuce here, which is called Attraction. Okay, and then here I have another lettuce, which is called Till, and I want to sew it outside. Apparently it doesn't shoot too easily. Good girl. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to call it a day and next time I will show you the germination of all of the seeds that I've sown and the progress of all of the plants that I've planted today. So it's pretty grand in the greenhouse now and I really love it. I can't wait until I get my own tomatoes. So yeah guys, I want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.